News going on this afternoon, including this, the Lee County Sheriff's Office says they have arrested a teen. They say shot at an elderly couple as they drove through a Lehigh Acres intersection over the weekend. Now tonight, Sheriff Carmine Marcino says that that shooting happened as cars surrounded this elderly couple's truck. And this is the suspect now in jail tonight. 17-year-old Armando Cruz now facing 11 charges, including attempted murder murder, aggravated battery, aggravated rioting, and there are also two other suspects now behind bars for aggravated rioting as well. And as you mentioned, Nadine, he is 17. That is why Fox 4's Caitlin Knapp is live at the Juvenile Justice Center this evening. And Caitlin, talk to us more about the street racing. I know the sheriff says he's already making changes in response to that and, of course, to the shooting. That's exactly right. Sheriff Carmine Marcino says that there are a lot of car clubs in Lee County and mostly peaceful, but this particular group, he says that they're simply causing mayhem. That's why Sheriff Carmine Marcino is adding deputies to a street racing task force, and he told me today he hopes to get a handle on this problem. I just don't know how you could sleep at night knowing that you shot at a 74 and a 70 year old. The Sunday morning shooting of an elderly couple, leaving their grandson, Cody Langford, angry, but relieved tonight following the arrest of 17 year old Armando Cruz. Sheriff Carmine Marcino says the couple drove to this intersection at Homestead Road and Milwaukee Boulevard in Lehigh Acres when members of a car club blocked their truck. A mob broke away from the larger group and surrounded the victim's truck and boat and began to hit punch and kick the vehicle. Seconds later, the sheriff says Cruz shot the couple and took off. Video of the scene and other evidence led to Cruz's arrest on Monday in Cape Coral. There's a note that we investigate and that note puts our suspect in the place where we have established probable cause for his arrest. Video from the sheriff's office shows the car club doing donuts at this intersection earlier that morning and other areas in Lee County. That's why Marcino says he's increasing law enforcement's presence. We implemented this task force and we are tripling the number of deputies initially assigned to it. A move people I spoke to on Monday said must happen. We just need more police coverage, bottom line. Marcino says he's focused on Lehigh following the shooting, but the sheriff's office addresses similar calls throughout Lee County. We routinely increase the number of deputies on the roads when we have reason to believe these car clubs are meeting. A response Langford's grateful for and says after all that happened. I'm fortunate enough to have honestly the toughest grandpa in America. Langford says his grandmother is out of the hospital and his grandfather is still in the hospital recovering. Now, as far as the suspect, Cruz is the only one arrested. The sheriff says they made two more arrests this morning. Those two have been charged with aggravated rioting, and the sheriff says he plans on making more arrests. Reporting live at the Juvenile Justice Center, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4. Caitlin